Good morning and welcome to another tutorial by me, Rob. Um, welcome everyone, and if you're a first time watcher, welcome. Welcome back to everyone who's seen my other tutorials. Um, a few people have asked, and I've also wondered, how do you protect your files on a Mac? In Windows, often what you do is you can make a zip file, password protect it. Um, there's also Windows like protection on folders and so forth. And on Mac, it's slightly different. Well, I suppose there's a few different ways, but the way I like, and I've discovered recently, is you can create a secure image, disk image. And the great thing about this is that, well, a Windows PC won't even really see it's there, because by default, most Windows PCs, they can't even see the file. So you have a memory key, you plug it in, and you got this protective file. They won't even see it. So I shall now show you how we achieve this. It's not so obvious how to do it, but once you work it out, it's easy. So here's my wallpaper. It's interesting kind of Brittany pretty ribbon type thing and we go into my finder and it's in the applications folder there's a subfolder called utilities and this utility is the one we go into and what we're looking for now is we go file new disk image from folder so what we can do now is select any folder. For example, I'll select, say, icons. In here, we got a few icons. And, for example, here's one here. I've changed my Mac hard disk image to look like my MacBook. So I select that. And I say, create image. And you can name it anything you want. They'll be saved in documents, which is the folder. It, by default, it goes to the same folder your, well, the folder above what you're protecting. And the trick is here: you go encryption, change it to that, AES128, which is 128-bit encryption. Don't worry, it's not easy to to crack into. Press save. It will ask you to create your password. Now the trick is here, if you say remember this password adds to your keychain, what it's going to do is anyone who has access to the, this computer will be able to open it, which kind of defeats the purpose. Unless you want to say remember on this computer and on a memory stick everyone else has to know the password. So what I do is I recommend you take that off and you put in your password anything you want okay it's compressing and doing all this stuff encrypting so now if I close that off and I go into my documents here it is this is my image open it and it'll ask me for my password open it up it'll mount your image here it is mounted and here are the files here and as you can see here are like the, the icons um, also out of interest I will show you what a keychain is now these are in Windows, what happens when you on Internet Explorer, you might say, yes, remember password, or whatever. Also, with, like, your, say, MSN on Skype and these other applications on Mac, if you say, yes, remember password, they will get remembered in here. So, also, in the same folder, we went to the disk utility, in Utilities. Have a look at keychain access. Here we go. See now, I remember my Skype login. I let whenever I 
open up Skype, it remembers. And this is where it is here. So if you ever have an automatic login you want to remove, you can go into here and here's you've got password, certificates, key, secure notes, file, and you can delete the keychain if you want. But I don't really want to. Just showing you how you can find it. And it's not so obvious, but now you know where it is. So that's pretty much it. Here's one of the icons image. Eject that. And it acts as a virtual hard disk. And I'll just show you again where it is. Go Apple I for information. You can see it's the same size as the files themselves. The only disadvantage is you can't just randomly add files, which is fine. I mean, it serves its purpose, it protects. So there you have it. That's how you protect your files or folders in a Mac. And that's where the passwords are remembered. Remember, try to take that remember keychain off. It's just better security. So, until next time, have fun with your Mac, and I hope you learned something. If you have any more questions, please feel free to ask, make comments on my videos, and see you later.